Hey YouTube, how you doing? Picker community. All right, this is my first major video where I'm just going to basically show you what one month of picking has brought me. It's been about four Saturdays and one Friday and three Craigslist um, purchases. And these are going to be my, I guess, slightly successful, potentially successful two really successful ones and then I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna talk about my misses and all the things I've learned and all the stupid mistakes that I've made this month I think what I should do is just start off with the most recent and I'll go back to the beginning most recent today woke up and I saw a post for a 1955 Bowman graded one poor condition but Mickey Mantle card and uh, I did a, some quick research on it and thought that I could easily double my money for the 50 bucks. And so I show up, it's about 20, 20 minutes away, and I show up and I notice that the, the grading case does have a little bit of a, a crack right here and it's a little scratched up over here. But I still think I'm there anyway and for the 50 bucks that I'm going to hand him that I can't lose money on this. So. I don't think the case probably matters as much as that the card has been authenticated, which is, I think, the big thing with the grading. And so I saw online where a 54 Bowman BBG1 sold for $123. And so I don't, I'm not going to lose money on this. I can't see how. But that's an example of a Craigslist purchase today I made. So 50 bucks for that. A little bit of memorabilia or uh, baseball cards I used to collect as a kid. And um, so I got that. Then let's move to Saturday, which was frustrating. One thing I learned is that the flea market scene here on Saturday is nil. It's the vendor day. I showed up at 5.45 a.m. and there was not one car in the parking lot. Whereas the Friday the, the Friday uh, before, it was, it was pretty, you know, packing, you know, with the garage sale items. So Friday is definitely the garage sale uh, day. And Saturday is the time that all the pickers are out you know doing the real sales but and so after you know getting nothing and running into nothing and I actually went to this church thing and I just spent ten dollars to spend ten dollars on a bunch of dumb stuff one of the last sales that I hit there was this 15 year old kid and he's like well all the good stuff's gone and I was like well he had this acoustic guitar and it's like a, it's a beginner's guitar. It's made in China. It's called First Act 222, but it is the adult size. And it sells for $100 new. And it had this really great deluxe bag right here, which goes for 40 bucks. And so I offered him 25 bucks, you know, after explaining to him that once, you know, a guitar is used, it just you know, loses all its value, you know, like, you can't expect to get 75 bucks like he was asking. And so he texted his mom, and his mom said, it's up to you if you want to sell it. So I just took out the 25, and I said, here, I was really, you know, I wanted to buy something to make a, you know, profit on something. And uh, so he took it, and I think that I was able to get 50 to $75 for it. I, I, I can't see why someone on Craigslist wouldn't want to buy that for a, as a starter acoustic setup for someone. And... At that same sale, I he I asked him how much this uh, football helmet was. And he said a buck, so I bought it, and I looked up the brand name Adams. It's a A2000, and these brand new sell for 160 to 180 dollars. And the kid said his uncle gave it to him, and that it was a college football helmet. And I and I, I looked up this decal, and it was it is Southern Methodist University decal. So this was this might have been used in an actual football game, but use price. I'd love to think that I can get twenty to fifty dollars for this, at least twenty. I don't know, but it's definitely worth a buck, and you know, definitely worth learning that if you can find an Adams football helmet, you know, get it for cheap. And uh, let's see what else. We, what can we do here? Oh, also on Saturday, one of the stupid. This is one of my dumb ones. But uh, <laughs> yeah, this this isn't a dumb one. I bought these little wooden uh, souvenir clogs for a dollar. They're wooden, hand painted, I guess. 
I think they're sold. As, they used to be sold on a Holland cruise ship. Yeah, as a souvenir. Uh, for a buck, I think it was worth it. And I don't know what I'll get for them. I'll put them on eBay and let them ride. Now here's where I was trying to do my best, my pack rat impression. I found, I saw a Seiko, a Seiko watch. I got so excited, I just got hypnotized. And it actually came with a case, but then that door of the case broke, and I just threw it out. I got pissed. Not pissed, but I was just like, Ugh. oh my gosh. But the funniest part is that it doesn't have a, any uh, plastic or whatever the glass thing is there. And it has a bent handle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was just like, oh, how funny is that that I didn't even notice that. I got this for two bucks, and it, yeah, I have a booklet with it. And I'm just going to put it on eBay for 99 cents and just see see what a broken watch of this caliber will get me. So uh, I'll find out some information on that. Now, what can I do here next? We'll go to a sale that I did a couple weeks ago. And the following stuff is all from the same sale. And I'm actually going to put in a picture at the end that shows you all the stuff, all the other stuff that I bought from the same sale for the same $160 that didn't turn out to be valuable. Now, the funny thing is at this sale is that the stuff that I thought was going to be worth the most turns out to not be. And the stuff that I didn't know or the stuff I just packed in with the group purchases I was making. And one of the items that actually turned out to be something was this Franklin Mint uh, three servicemen uh, figurine and one with the certificate of authenticity and all that sold for 200 on eBay and another one without that but with this uh, with this authentication the platform which gives it uh, the official Vietnam whatever blah 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 150 bucks and so that was among the $160 total score or potential score. I haven't sold any of this stuff yet. Another that I did not know what it was. I just thought it was just some, you know, glass golfer. But when I get home, I notice on the front here it says Baccarat. I don't know if you could see that. Um, come on. Uh, is that not going to work? Take my word for it. Yeah. Um, there you kind of see the B, but yeah, it's Baccarat, and on the bottom it has that an emblem that I've looked up, and I don't know if you can see that either. It's very faded. Let me put my finger on it and then slowly remove it so you can see. Probably still can't. But yeah, it's there. It has a. It says. Uh, what does it say? It says Baccarat and then France and then three little uh, symbols and this brand new sells for three hundred and fifty dollars and I've seen it sell used from uh, hundred to hundred and eighty dollars so that was nice to find out fun now here was here's my favorite piece and I noticed this and I'm like oh I gotta bunch that up into a bunch of stuff now look at this Lincoln head I'm like, oh, that is pretty cool. I'm like, who's that? Abraham Lincoln? And on the back, I'll read it for you. It says, uh, Abraham Lincoln modeled from life by Leonard W. Volk. And it's a Alva Museum replica in 1976. An Alva Museum replica. And boom. And it's in great condition. It is. And there's three examples of this selling on eBay. One that was all chipped up and everything for $64. One that was uh, in, in uh, I guess, better shape than that one, sold for $194. <clears throat> and then another one, which I guess was a better shape than that, sold for $404. Now, the difference between mine and those is that the base on this one is dark, but everything else is the same. And... Uh, I guess the other difference is mine on the bottom it says made in USA but then this also came with it it says um, the Alva Museum blah 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 and there's had that sticker on this but 
it, I don't think that that really matters. I don't think anybody's going to, you know, do that with this. This is exactly the same thing, in my opinion. What's interesting is I saw on a live auction website, a random one that does, you know, an isolated uh, local auction, this this is sold on that one for between 25 and 150 in uh, two auctions, one for 25 and one, one for 150. It shows the power of eBay to get a global market, and so that's the, definitely the way to probably try to sell this. So there's the Lincoln head. Just a word to the wise, uh, I've looked up all the other, all, a lot of other busts, and this one seems to be the best one. So in the bust market, this seems to be the best. Man, I'm at 10 minutes already. i got to learn how to do this faster. Okay, let me go faster here. Then I saw this, uh, at the same sale, I saw this Franklin Mint Wagon. It sells for $200 new. I saw, I saw one for $78 without any uh, boxes or anything with just the wagon. And so that was bunched in the $160 thing. Then these, the following things were too. This, this has no identification on it. I don't know if it's crystal like the golfer or just glass. I don't even, what is this, a deer? I don't know. How, I don't know how to tell crystal or not. I got these paperweights by a guy named Joe Rice. I think I might be able to get five bucks a piece for them. They're pretty cool paperweights. There's actually some money in them if you know about them. And these two. And these. I got, I got a couple, couple glass elephants. I think they're glass. I don't think they're really, if these are crystal or not, but, you know, threw them in a bunch. And another Craigslist purchase was this Harrison Ford movie poster. I got this. Because this can, these can be fake. And so I actually spent about a half hour reading about it and reading. And these have the full creases, if you see, because that's how they would send them to these movie theaters and full creases. And this lady had a great, you know, her, her, the story added up on this. And I bought this for 25 bucks. And, and the, an example of something similar on eBay I've seen for $164. And that was pretty cool. I mean, I knew nothing about movie posters. I just thought it looked interesting. And so I looked up about it and, well, I was surprised. Now, I got these my first week out. These are Revel model kits. The funniest thing is, is I was going to pass on these for $5 a piece. Brand new. Boxes in rough condition, but the, these are basically, these are wrapped up and brand new in there. And I was going to pass up on these for five bucks a piece, not knowing that that would have been a, a steal in itself. And this one's brand new sealed. A Porsche Exotics Revel. And the lady's like, they're both brand new and you can have both of them for five bucks. And I'm just like, okay. So that's what got me to get that deal. And so I got those for five bucks and uh, I have them on eBay actually right now. And we're... Um, my eBay account is Treasure the Hunt, all one word, Treasure the Hunt. If you want to check out my auctions, maybe give me some advice on how to do that better. And then three weeks ago, one of my, my only real hit from that week, I got a golf set, and it included this in it. When I saw it, I was like, oh, wow, that's nice. It's a Scotty Cameron uh, Gun Blue Original Newport Classic. And the face is a little scuffed, not the best condition, but it should be an easy hundred dollars. And I got the whole golf set for fifty bucks, and it also came with a nine oversized Titleist iron set and a Hoofer ping bag, which is the most desirable of the stand bags, which should both be easy, at least easy fifty dollar each. I'm looking to try to give out seventy or eighty on Craigslist, but if I can't. I'll have to take the easy 50 for each of those. Hopefully they bring, especially the bag, the clubs. Ah, they should do that too. So that should be an easy 200 on that 50 bucks. And uh, from this same $160 sale, I also got uh, a little lot of DVD movies. And uh, I'm going to make about 40 or 50 bucks on those. 